Photodynamic therapy is one of the new and exciting things in dermatology in the last 10 years. As is often the case, the Europeans are far ahead of us in this modality because they get drugs through easier and cheaper than we do. But we learn from their experience, so in a sense it's an advantage if there is one. Um, the way it works is this, as pertains first to acne. There are certain wavelengths of light that kill the bacteria responsible for causing much of the problems in the skin that lead to pimples. And so it's a simple thing to shine intense blue light on your skin and kill the, the acne bacteria. That's not the whole problem because acne is not in essence just a bacterial infection. The oil glands are addressed by the intense LED lights uh, which are in the near infrared spectrum and the oil glands are altered in such a way that they are made less active. Fortunately though, we have a chemical called amino levulinic acid which can be applied to the skin and it is selectively absorbed into the oil glands. Once it's absorbed, we shine the lights on and because so much of the chemical is concentrated in the oil glands, the chemical when it changes after exposure to the light the oil glands to some degree self-destruct and become less active. In the realm of, of uh, sun damaged skin, there are many people who develop precancerous lesions. We spend our days in this office freezing off little lesions that one day would like to become a skin cancer. Just as in acne, the amino levulinic acid is selectively absorbed by the oil glands, well, also the precancerous, abnormal, sun-damaged skin is selective in its absorption of this same chemical. And this has been widely shown to the extent now that Medicare and most insurance companies pay for this. And so we paint on the amino levulinic acid, we wait a little while as it absorbs, and then shine the lights on your skin. And it's like a smart bomb. Wherever there's trouble, there's inflammation after the light shines on the skin because that chemical changes. And it's been found in Europe most recently that if this treatment is done every three months, you almost never have to do anything else. There'll be a preemptive strike when it comes to the development of precancerous lesions rather than what we've been relegated to in the past, which is a uh, brush fire mentality. When the things pop up, we, we run and squirt a little, uh, squirt a little uh, cry a little freezing on them. So we don't have to wait for things to develop anymore. We can treat the problem before it occurs. Come in and check it out.